and so we're going to discuss about networking in Hyper-V. So we discuss about installation, discuss about creating a virtual machine, but this is one of the uh, topic we want us to raise and it's very important because uh, we used to create a network in the virtual environment. Uh, we used to have two, three machines, four machines, tries to establish uh, these machines uh, and have a communication between each other to prove practice, to prove theories. That's the reason networking in the virtual environment is very important. And because of this virtual uh, uh, environments, with with very small cost, uh, be able to uh, do a, a lot of practicals at home or at very small uh, environment, and we can uh, prove those theories in the very small environment uh, with this virtual environments. Okay, so in Hyper V also, uh, networking is 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 where where we have a uh, a types of network in hyper we can stable and we can prove our point we can prove we can learn about those we can prove our points uh, with those so in hyper v we have three kind of networks with these three kind of networks where is external another one is internal and another one is public uh, we can say it's external internal and private uh, external will will raise will will allow our, our virtual pcs to have a communication with the public networks we have a communication with public exposures uh, get a uh, get a uh, network internet we can use the internet with external with internal the internal network can be created along with the physical machine along with the host machine with the private network we can have a communication between uh, uh, virtual machines but not with the host machine this is what the outlays of these three kind of network which is available in the Hyper-V now we can have small small practicals uh, with these network in part uh, for example uh, there will be the physical machine uh, if you want to enable net wants to use internet wants your uh, small machines to have uh, exposure of, of internet exposure of public network you can go with the, the external network internal if you want to uh, join a small active directory domain it wants to uh, establish a connection like this you could go with them so this is what the free kind of uh, network and private again a small group of uh, uh, virtual machines can have a practicals uh, between so external internal and private external as I say that you can have exposure your your virtual machine have a cannot have exposure in the public machines, in the in the public environments, in the internet environments, we can have a net on machines. Internal have have a environment inside the the virtual machine, and not the public environment. The these virtual machine don't have exposures outside the world and private those are the group of machines now in internal and private have two difference the machine the host machine can join the internal network but private will not private will have a collection of internal machines or collections of private machines only in internal physical as well as guest machine can have uh, a network built so this would be a practice we're going to learn um, enabling um, network how to create network and that is a different thing that once you create a network you can join those uh, according to your need now it goes to administrative tools hyper v manager 
Now in Hyper B Manager, you find that uh, virtual machines and the machine name. You can be able to find that. And uh, currently, as I said, that I didn't enable the networking yet. So this machine don't have a network driver. If 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 they have, uh, well, they won't have. I think. Goes to hyper settings. Uh, no, don't. There is an option called virtual number manager, and the virtual number manager you can find that uh, only it asking to create new virtual networks, and in the new virtual networks you have three uh, networks which we can create in hyper B is available. The option is available. You can find out external internal private and the global network settings and mac address is also there so every machine have their virtual mac address every machine would have a, a mac address that that is the concern of hyper b software now just i want to name this virtual machine we're going to add uh, an external machine for example i named that external network as a public network so that my client machine would have exposure of internet and you can see the driver is available so because this driver is 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 uh, of my physical machine the network that is already there which have an internet connection uh, which is utilizing internet so this is where the, the driver is, this is where the network adapter is. You can see allow management operating systems to share this network adapter. Now if I check that my I I can I can access I can have a access of my uh, guest networks of my virtual networks in the public network means by sitting somewhere in the from the public I can have access i can use those virtual pc i can communicate with those virtual pcs if i did that if if i say allow management operating system to share this network adapter if i uncheck that uh well i won't have a now you can enable vlan but uh, the 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 only concern is that your v your physical machine would have a vlan so I'm just uncheck the VLAN thing and I'm just applying and you can see applying changes uh, as I say that um, now uh, whosoever the guest machine going to join this network I can have access from public network I can have access of those machine from the public network I can create another network for example I go with internal and just adding that internal one is public so that the all this gas machine would have a uh, exposure in the network in the inter, in the external networks now just naming it as private and i just want it internal only no more concern of anything just internal only the guest machines and the rest of the host machine could have uh the have uh, this network they can join the network I'm just starting this virtual machine see I the external machine and the external network internal private is the same thing but only one difference there otherwise we could have a lot many things on there but external or internal either your network will have internet either your nap uh, either your system will have internet either your system will have public connection or your system will remain the private that is the only key thing is there connecting to WS 2008 and we're going to prove a point whatever network we created whether those are working or not
Okay, control alt delete. So we have to give control alt end. Okay. So to try external wrapper. We want to have a uh, internet. Go to settings, and we need to add private network, the the public network, the external one. Go with public or private. So let me check the public network whether it's working or not. Public number, private number, apply. Okay. So now our system would have uh, internet connection. Currently, you can see it's local only, but would have. Go with Internet Explorer. Let me try the network we're working or not. Yes, you can see the icon is now connected to the internet. Napper is there. Let me have a Google page. So page is opening. Mm. Okay, fine. Google is opening. And you can search anything of your require. For example, taking JTV. Let me see what you get in the Google. Yes, so there were let lots of things are there. Okay, so it means Google is working, the internet is working. Now, what we're going to do is go to settings, and now we're going to check the private network. Public is working, net is working, net internet is running. I'm just applying private, and the lead icon is there still. So I'm quite sure the web page will not open. Let me Google it. close and you can see the web page is not opening internet explorer cannot display the web page means simple it's now private network and private network cannot have an access of internet they can not access the internet so that's the reason you can see internet is not working so we have two phase one is external with external we our virtual machine can have exposure of internet be able to access internet be able to access the external websites external sites but with private network they don't and they only have uh, 
private network access. Thanks.